Hi there, welcome to another episode of Hardlines Angling. Out with Chief Netboy today, or <laughs> Salmon Winkler, one of the two, we'll see, see which one it is today. Um, fishing on the glass and farer again. As you can see, the farer is generating at the moment, so we'll be on the farer this morning and possibly the glass this afternoon. We'll see how we get on. Here we go in the stracking pool. Nice lovely high water today, we'll get a wee bit more line out. Have to do overhead cast here off the bank. That's flowing around beautifully today. There was one caught the other night I think, off the farrow, so fingers crossed we can get one out today. cast at a different angle because that's ripping that near the surface. I can see that whizzing round. Right. Down near the bottom of the pool now. Flows slow enough a wee bit so this is where I'd expect one in this height of water down towards the, down towards the bottom. Where it starts slowing up because it'll be backed up with the with the more water coming through. Down at this rapid section, deep hole on the other side, fast rapids on the inside. Cast has been rubbish today, but oh well. If it's bad casting and it results in a fish, then happy days. I might need, I've got a copper tube on at the moment, but I might need to put a heavier one on just to get it down a bit more. Or an extra fast sink tip because it's whizzing across. Well, that's way to think for the big hard. Look at that! Absolutely belted through and in this deep run here. Very, very fast. It's just about pushing my feet away today. Right. Nothing doing so far. Sun's bright. Not ideal fishing conditions, but a nice day to be out nonetheless. Cast off the left hand, just to avoid all the trees, but it's alright. It's a different river when this is uh, pushing through. I don't think there's much more I can go down and safely wade it. Right. Just below the Struy Bridge after a quick coffee. Tell you what, the water is pushing through today. Just there. A wee bit hairy in here. <laughs> Amazing what power there is when the river starts generating. Ooh. Well, I've just had a first bang in here. That was a that was a good uh, good sharp pull there. So let's run that again. I don't know if it was a trout or a salmon, but it felt solid, didn't it? Right, a bit above the bridge now. Give it a go. Doing his rock maybe. 
might be a bit deep to wade, but we'll try along this edge. Let's try that again. What, what have we got on the go today, Chef? Oh, brilliant. And I, the Kelly Kettle, which is getting up to speed. Oh, there goes the fuel. Sort of Master Chef going on here. Out of that Kelly Kettle. Nice to have a bit of warm food on the bank. After our master course, master chef lunch, we're hooking the bottom. Alright, once I've finished arguing myself with the try cast, let's try fishing. sit in the water for any time because it, it drags too much and creates a, too much of an anchor. So the extra fasting tips, you've got to do touch and go. Otherwise it doesn't cast very well. Almost like if you're doing a snake roll, it's a touch and go cast. Last ditch effort from the Far side of the junction pool. Just seen the first salmon of the day just in there. Doesn't look a big one, but it was a fish come up it nonetheless. I'm about at the bottom of the beat now, so 
I can't fish down to it, so hopefully it just comes up to see me. Very, very deep below this one. Won't be waiting in it, that's for sure. Colin, that's another day. I've got the junction pool behind me, very deep pool where the Bewley first forms, where the Glass and Farah join together and make the Bewley a very deep pool. Uh, I'm actually st standing on Upper Bewley fishing at the moment, but one tug today, that's all, just one little plucker, uh, nothing else doing. I've seen a fish in the junction pool at the end, but hopefully I will do a video soon where I can actually catch a fish. So, bye for now.